and fifth grade, are you ready for your spring week six art lesson? So, the last week you started learning about a new artist named Faith Ringgold. And this week you are going to continue and we're going to work in her style. So let's do our review and catch up. So before we begin, you will need your stem journal, your sketchbook, coloring supplies, and of course a pencil and eraser. Your fifth grade expedition information. Your guiding question, the changes keep coming. The connection, we have now studied three artists who have changed the art scene with their craft and their styles. Learning targets, I can learn about contemporary artist Faith Ringgold and I can reflect on my place in my community as an artist. Let's stop for a moment and think about the design process. Where are we when we are about to begin part of this project? Uh, we're not in the emphasize. I think we've already defined, well, kind of defined our project. We might be in the ideate or you might be in the prototype area. You could kind of even say we're in the test if you've already done your uh, rough drafts uh, and then we are getting close to the share most of our critiques are going to be like a share um, just in case you were curious so again last week you guys started to learn about Faith Ringgold we looked at some of her artwork and we did a review and we did a critique on it and this week you guys are going to begin making another portrait but we're going to do it in her style so when you start your portrait, we're just going to do the regular uh, kind, the same way that we started the Roy Lichtenstein one, where we just started with the, um, the oval and we worked our way down and made some simple face or simple uh, proportionate this, uh, portrait. So this is my uh, first portrait, simple. Same thing we did last time. I drew the oval. I put my fingers, went to the middle. When I found that, I drew the line across, went down to the middle for the nose. Once again, middle for the mouth. Drew the neck so that it was even with the outsides of the eyes so the neck wasn't too small. Eyebrows, ears, and added in part of the nose. So this doesn't have to be you. This could just be somebody you made up. I'm try to make mine look like me but you can just make up somebody the next thing we're going to do and i'm going to have to switch back to my screen is we are going to add some details to make it look similar to faith ringold's style i want you to look one of the things that she does a lot is she has these lines if you can see my mouse that connect the eyes and the eyebrows down to the nose yes you're going to have to draw a nose so that's going to be one of the first things to do right there is to add these extra lines she also uses very bold lines she has thick lines that outline a lot of her artwork and her um well parts of her portraits so we're going to next once you've drawn your regular one, you're going to move on to outlining it, making those thick lines. So when I was working with this, oops, sorry, wrong way. I took a Sharpie. Well, actually first I didn't even take the Sharpie. I just drew and connected all of it together. I drew my glasses, again, trying to make it look like me. You don't have to make it look like you. So if you don't want to add glasses, that's up to you. Uh, but I drew those lines and I made them, then I made them sharper, darker, thicker. You could use anything for this. I'm using a marker just because it shows up a lot better on my computer. But if you have uh, color pencils, crayons, anything of that sort, those also work. Now, this is as far as I want you to get this week. It's okay if this is as far as you get and then have to stop because I don't want you to rush through the coloring. If you do get done and you want to begin with the coloring, we're going to, again, use her 
inspiration with the black light or that kind of light that she usually shines on hers and we're going to outline eyebrows around the nose um, these parts right here that's usually where you smile where your uh, mouth moves a lot and that outside of the heads you can actually add to other parts too I probably should have done the ear and around the others and then I finished by drawing it and making or by coloring it in my normal colors again this is just the way that we are going to be drawing this portrait um, I do expect this to be a two-week project so again if you just draw the portrait and add the dark lines today that's fine and then next week we'll be moving on to the colors if you do end up coloring today, please don't rush through it. All right, I'll see you guys later.